Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem. I posted this problem in the community post and uh, I received a lot of responses and uh, very few people could answer the correct uh, uh, answers for this problem. So it's a quite tricky problem and uh, let's see, let's discuss this uh, problem. So here is the problem uh, statement. A particle of mass m strikes with a rod of mass m at one of its end as shown in the diagram with e equal to zero. So it's an uh, inelastic collision but one thing is given without sticking to the rod. If you observe the rod and the particle from point A on the rod, point A is the topmost point here you can see, then we have to verify these four options which is given. Angular momentum of rod and particle will be conserved just before and just after collision. Option B is linear momentum of rod and particle will be conserved. Option C is observed motion of rod after collision will be pure rotation. And D is observed motion of particle will be straight line after the collision. So let's discuss uh, this problem here. So concept wise, let's uh, draw the three scenarios just before collision, during the collision and just after collision. So just before collision, this particle is approaching this uh, lowermost point of this rod and the entire system is on a horizontal surface, we can say, or gravity free space. So during the collision, what is going to happen, uh, there will be a normal reaction. It will be impulsive normal reaction. So you can say it will give impulse and angular impulse also linear impulse as well as angular impulse. So here during that small interval of time, there will be some center of mass will be having some acceleration of ACM and this will be having some uh, ang angular acceleration of alpha also. And of course, omega is also going to be developing in this. So let's say instantaneous value of omega is uh, uh, some general omega we are taking here. I'll just uh, mention this. All right. So now here uh, you can see uh, this point A on the rod will have due to translation ACM and due to rotation it will have L by 2 alpha uh, during the collision and uh, whatever omega it is having it is slightly increasing from 0 to some omega naught finally just after collision let's call this as omega naught. So here uh, L by 2 omega square will be towards the uh, center of the circle. Now when we observe it uh, and after the collision what is happening here, uh, this particle is moving with Vcm plus R omega and this is also moving with Vcm plus R omega. After the collision these are the velocities, uh, velocity of center of mass of the rod and uh, angular velocity of this uh, rod. Since E is given 0, so these two points will be moving together and there uh, it is given the problem that particle does not stick to this. So it will be moving with the same velocity but it, it doesn't stick to the rod. All right. So when we observe with respect to point A, we can see here during the motion, uh, during the motion you will find there will be pseudo force. Net acceleration of this uh, point A is ACM minus L by 2 alpha and this is L by 2 omega square towards the center. So when we are going to observe it, we must apply this pseudo force. We must apply this pseudo force here. So you can check here uh, on the particle especially, uh, you can see you must apply at uh, this body also. So uh, here you can say on the particle corresponding to this L by 2 omega square, uh, this will be M L by 2 omega square and due to this uh, uh, horizontal acceleration, uh, pseudo force component uh, will be M times ACM minus L by 2 alpha. By the way guys, this is small m because we are writing on the particle, alright. We are writing on the particle here. After this and even before the collision, we must uh, apply this pseudo force just before the collision because uh, we are observing before and after with respect to point A. So easily now you can see here, even if we take significant large size of uh, this, in that case also about point A this even L by 2 omega square may provide uh, torque but normally since particle is given we can ignore this uh, size and in that case we can take this uh, negligible uh, torque here but this will be significant uh, on the system and it will be acting as a external force as well and since it is acting as a external force we can say neither linear momentum will be conserved and it is also creating external torque so even angular momentum will not be conserved because it is accelerated point this is point number uh, option one and two are covered in this 
and another part is the motion of particle will be curvilinear due to the uh, rotation of the rod and we know this when uh, any rigid body is in combined motion and if we are observing it with respect to some point on the rigid body then we realize it then we find out that with respect to any point on the rigid body the motion of it will be pure rotation right so here we can say the motion of rod will be pure rotation about point A with respect to point A since it is lying on the rod. And the motion of particle will be curvilinear due to the rotation of rod. See, there is a translation here. With respect to ground, definitely we will see particle to be moving in a straight line. But in the frame of uh, A, we will be finding a curvilinear motion for this particle. Therefore, that option also will not come. Only option C is correct. Right? This was a smart solution for this problem. However, Another approach we can uh, have in this problem is uh, we can write the expression of linear momentum and uh, angular momentum just before and just after the collision to check the options and however it's a lengthy and less classy approach. Uh, so guys I hope you have understood this problem uh, very clearly and I have seen most of you uh, have ignored or you did not read the question properly. So. Uh, uh, you uh, because it's a very standard problem in uh, rotation especially in collision problem so most of the people have i think ignored the fact that point a they are asking about point a they were just uh, solving the standard problem of uh, collision which normally we do in the classes so uh, here there is a, les a lesson for all of us that whenever we see a question treat it as a fresh question and uh, you know you must do the careful reading there were some students, around a handful of uh, students, I'll say around uh, 10 students now uh, when I'm recording this, uh, who could uh, solve this question properly and uh, almost uh, around you can say now 300 plus students have uh, submitted their uh, solution answers. So guys, finally, if this solution has brought a smile on your face and you have realized your mistake, then let me know in the comment section because I know most of you will be now thinking that uh, how could you make this kind of mistake. Anyways, it's better to make mistake now uh, instead of uh, making in the actual uh, exam hall. So I hope this uh, video will bring some value addition in your knowledge and will uh, take you one step closer to your uh, goals. So... I'll end this video on this note and I'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.